five of the Beers Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. We are so excited to be back in the building. Um, I got something new that we're going to try out today, and uh, we're going to let you know how it is. Uh, but first, of course, we got an uh, angry principal in the building. What's off, up? Off camera, as always. We got my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, <laughs> man, let's get to some drinking, guys. Like, it's been a few months. Uh, hope you guys missed us, because we missed you guys. Uh, but today, we, uh, we're doing Kuiper Belt, all right? So, uh, Kuiper Belt is E-40's uh, bourbon. And... Uh, first of all, let me let me say this. I was excited about trying it because I do like uh, I do like his wine. All right, so the wine is fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do like the wine. So uh, the wine is like damn near liquor. It's like eighteen percent alcohol, so it's like almost liquor. So I'm excited about the wine. So I had to try this. Uh, we were in Louisville a few months ago, uh, me and a couple of the homies, and I was down there. I went to uh, I think it was somewhere regular. We went to the uh, total wine. Total wine, yeah. So some some normal. I'm looking for some stuff and I saw it on the shelf. I'm like, damn, I really want to try this, right? So I looked at the price tag. The price tag was like 109. Now I don't know if that's the regular price, uh, but that's what I paid for it in Louisville. And uh, I wanted to put it down. I really did though. Like I really, I wanted to put it down. Like I took it off the shelf. I put it into the basket. I walked around, grabbed some other shit. I came back and I put it back on the shelf, <laughs> right? So I did that like three times for real while I was waiting on everybody else. I'm like, I don't want to pay $110. But it was like, you know what? I like I like the wine. I like E40. I gotta give this a shot. So I gotta give it a shot for the show. As you can see, uh, the battle, the bottle, the battle, the bottle is already open. So I have tried it already. Uh, I won't get into what I thought about it. We'll go ahead and crack it open now. So normally, I know uh, Angry Principal does the uh, cork pop, but uh, it's already popped. So well, it might get some sound out. Might of it. get something. It got a little something. Got a little something. Uh, sounds like we got company in the studio, got company, too. yeah, you got company. <laughs> All right, so we got a little pour here. All right, so it's the Kuiper Belt. Shout out to E40, man. Much love for the Bay Area. Much love for the Bay Area. Always. The Bay and Detroit like cousins. That's what I keep hearing. Now, I've never actually been to the Bay, but I hear that's exactly what it is. I've been so, to the Bay. It's straight out there. Yeah, like, yeah. You got to watch where you're going, though. I mean, yeah, so it sounds, it sounds pretty <laughs> much like you Detroit. Going. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a lot like Detroit. There he is. What up, dog? There we go. Yeah, yeah come on, man. Pull up Let's a chair, go. bro. Pull yeah, up cool. A chair. Yeah, pull up a chair. Go get a stool. Pull up a chair. Yeah, yeah. we are recording, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What's come on, man. Yeah. My man Spring just popped in. What's up, baby? Hey. Aries in the building. Aries said, what up, dog? All right. Barking. Saying, what up, dog? All right, so. Protecting her territory. Let's get to this, I guess. Oh, man. So. Checked out uh, Fred Minnick when okay. they were talking about this, and he made it sound like it was really, really good bourbon to sex. And then uh, you were listening, looking at somebody else. Uh, yep, on uh, YouTube, Cali and West show. Uh, let me see. It's Cal yep. It's some, it's some chairs yeah, up there, right. some camping chairs right up by the. Yeah, yeah it's the Cali and, Cali and West show. Um, who said it, it was really, really good? I think the they Cali used and West show. Yeah, I think they used the word "good" like three times. This is what Kentucky bourbon is supposed to fucking taste like. This is the lane right here. Wow. How about how about the fast lane in in the in the Maybach and hop in the fast track? Mmm. This this is succulent. 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 This is thirteen. This is thirteen. This will. This is thirteen. This, this will. And so you know, for you guys out there in E40, because we know you're watching, we rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, okay? This is a 13. That's as high as we go. It's only a few liquors that get that 13. Yes. The hell are you talking about? I would tell you this. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, like I mentioned before, I've already opened it. Um, so, and this is two things, right? And I know we talked about this on several shows. I know that a lot of times, once you pop the cork, the air gets to it, it tastes a little bit lighter, it tastes a little bit better. Uh, for me, uh, not so much, it's uh, just as bad. Um, I'm trying to see exactly what it, like, what it tastes like though. Now, uh, what's funny yeah, about it, yeah. what's funny about it though is that <laughs> Angry Principal likened it to uh, shoe polish. Shoe polish. So I, don't, I don't know I'm if it's as bad as shoe polish. Myself. 
I, I know I'm dating myself, but that old Little Rascals cartoon where they were making, they had a lemonade stand on the street, and the <laughs> stuff tasted like shoe polish, and everybody spit it out. That's what this <laughs> tastes like to me. It tastes like it tasted like shoe polish. Um, just to give you kind of an idea. If you've never had shoe polish, uh. all right. If you've never polished your shoes and had that smell come up, that's what that, Because like. that's the that's the smell. What, what, not everybody polishes their but shoes. What's the brand of the shoe polish though? Uh, 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 kiwi. Uh, kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah. 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 Kiwi. kiwi. Yes, kiwi. And like it's it's kind of like maybe even this might be a stretch, but maybe even like a harsh black licorice. Like maybe that. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. The yeah. smell. The smell honestly is most definitely shoe polish. Like I, I, I like I don't know. I feel like I should have my, my browns out right now with my brush and just going to town right now. So I think out of the three of us, I like it the most and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? I mean, basically, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. That's where we at with it. Um, what, like, could you, could you mix this with something? Like, I don't even think you could. Okay, for $110, I'm not mixing. No, exactly. I'm saying for $110, you. I think, I think honestly, I'm probably going to say that's probably the, the thing that, that pisses me off the most. Like, this is. I, for me, this is very expensive. Like, I don't really spend a hundred dollars on liquor. Well, you like, told me so, it was seventeen dollars. All right. For seventeen dollars, honestly, it's some real shit. Right. I'm a grab for Yeah. Right. <laughs> for seventeen dollars, I'm getting the bottle and bond. Bottle and bond. Seriously. Bottle and bond. Hundred ten. This is not worth it. Mm -hmm. I, I, and and it's only and it's only ninety proof, right? So it's supposed so, to be a little less okay. harsh. It's a little less harsh. It's supposed to be something where you can actually get the different taste of it not. on the palate. You can't get anything. I just and it's messed up too, because like I, I like forty water, like you know what I mean. For like, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with E forty, I, I, I fuck with the wine. Yeah. Like, the wine is the it's wine just, has been great. I'm just not a fan of this. This is uh, not doing it for me. And shout out to uh, other reviewers who said this was the shit. I mean, this is this is some it's shit. Definitely got a different palate than I do. <laughs> right. That's for sure. We got different palates. Yeah, for sure. Cali and West, we gotta get y'all on the phone, boy. Y'all must y'all must be E forty cousins. Y'all got paid. This is a paid advertisement. <laughs> this shit is not good, bro. Yeah. Okay, so so from the first time we tasted it to now, it's it lighter. does not taste as bad as it did. That yeah, it's lighter. Time. It's lighter. But it's still not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a combination of like shoe polish and like running through the forest with your mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, man. I, I'm sorry, though. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to be cool, dog. This, like this. This is some shit. Like I really kind of want to pour it back in the bottle. <laughs> oh man. Now I was, again, like I said, I took a risk uh, because I hadn't actually seen the reviews before I purchased it. But um, because I like E40, I, and, and of course I, I love any black-owned business, any any entrepreneurship like that. When it, you know, when it comes to that, so I, I support and I have supported. I'm not sure if I'll be able to buy this again, but I definitely get, uh, I definitely get Earl Stevens wine and shit. I, I continue to support that like religiously. But this right here, yeah, it's a, it's a no for me, bro. I can't even. Oh yeah, all right. So I, we hadn't done that, all right. So I hadn't tried it with a cigar. Maybe it's, I don't know, it's different. What you think? It didn't help it much for me. It didn't help it much. No, not much. All right, yeah. and of course, you know, it's me. I always got a Romeo and Juliet. So angry principal, can I see that light? That lighter yeah. when, when you're done with it. Dude. Ooh, the yellow lighter. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that hand-eye coordination, because I would have dropped that shit all over the floor. <laughs> you just got to watch it into the hand. You got to squeeze at, at the tip of it. You know, you squeeze <laughs> at the point of entry, you know? Mm. <laughs> that coach speak. Mm. Now, if they fuck up my Romeo G, they ought to be pissed. <laughs> okay. So, I'm smoking a Daruma <laughs> Nappy B. And this Shout is one of Nappy my, B, that's yeah, your favorite. It's one of my favorites right now. It's really going into the rotation. To the point I went to the cigar shop the other day and just bought all the rest that they had. <laughs> the whole stock. The whole stock. Hey, look at all those. There were nine of them, I took nine. You know, so every time I go, I just buy as many as I can. So it's actually in the rotation. Uh, Nappy B cannot save Kyko though. Mm -hmm. It is not. It, in fact, the taste of shoe polish and the harshness it's of the chemicals is more. coming out even more. So unfortunately, something that I thought would be able to save it can't. Uh, I'm smoking a, uh, I got, I got a Cuban here, Partagas and whatnot, and um, no. No help. No. <laughs> no. Man, you want to be a fan, you want to yeah. help, help, help right. any help, any business you can out, but So if this was like a 25 to $35 bottle, then yeah, you know, if you want to make some like some, uh, what, what do they call them, the uh, 
bourbon margaritas or, or old fashioned, old fashioned or something, yeah. something like that. Yeah, 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 definitely. But I but feel like even if you mix it with some shit, it's got to be hell, hella on the mix because the the main ingredient is this, this shit bad, bro. I'm, I mean, you I'm trying to this. give it. <laughs> Square, I'm trying to give it some love, bro. Like, this shit bad to me. You pouring a bunch of sour in this just to get the <laughs> but, two bottles chasing. But I will say this, though, because it's obviously, a, I think it's, it's bottled in Kentucky, right, for it to be a bourbon. So I guess it's bottled there. What what could be possible, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving the benefit of doubt. Well, let me, first of all, let me say this. I'm giving the benefit of doubt, but it kind of don't matter because, like, I'm not going to spend $110 again. But I'm giving the benefit of doubt that possibly some bad barrels went into this batch. Like, it, it is true that sometimes this bottle may have gotten one of the barrels from upstairs, you know what I'm saying? Like, been sitting too long or, you know, something, because this was bad. I, I would, honestly, I, I would like to try it again, maybe from somebody else's bottle. Like, maybe we got a different a different source, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to give it that, but I can't, I can't justify spending $110 again to try it. So it feels like they went down to Kentucky, mm -hmm. bought some totes. Mm -hmm. And then tried to make their own blend together. Exactly. And they used somebody who didn't have a lot of experience in Fact. blending this together, and it just came out really bad. Yeah, I, I can agree. And that's the problem with if you're gonna do this, do it right, take the time. You know, distill your stuff. Yeah. If you're not gonna go to MGP and, and go through the whole process mm -hmm. with them, right? Or you're not gonna source from a different uh, legitimate um, source, then you yeah. know, actually spend some time trying to learn this craft because. This is not it. This is. <laughs> not I agree. Not it. <laughs> I agree. So on that note, I think we all uh, we all agree. I don't think we even need to go yeah, around. I think we all agree. Yeah. I think we yeah. all in agreement on that one. Uh, getting a getting a good. Uh, I guess we still got to give it a. a you got another glass down there? Yeah. You want? Yeah. You want to try this? <laughs> all right. So. I will though. Oh yeah. Yeah. So here, go here. I'll support you a shot. So we'll let you see. Now, I know. You don't normally uh, test with us on the show, but I, uh, I'll let you see. Cause maybe we wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but maybe we wrong. <laughs> hey, look, he smashed his hand immediately, dog. I don't know, man. So, look, we all we all look at this shit. Yeah. See, I expected it to be worse. That's so what he I said. That's, no what I, that's what he said. Built off, you know what I'm saying? What gotcha, saying, so. gotcha. But it's not great. But it, like I say, I expect it to be like the first thing I was thinking about the shoe polish and I really kept Okay. That, you know? mm -hmm. See, so I think that's what happened with you. Mm -hmm. I think we, yeah. we had built it up so much, yeah, it was like he was expecting be. worse. Built, built it. But you, you remember tore it my down. first reaction when you first cracked the bottle uh, was shoe polish. Yeah, and it, it was. And it stuck, mm -hmm. That taste is stuck in my head. It's not as pronounced now yeah. a couple months later, but it's still there. Now, when I first, when I first opened it, though, I, I tried it, you know, solo, and I told Angry Prince, I'm like, dog, this is the worst ever. Damn. He ain't believe me though. Then he tried it, he's like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Now we didn't, we didn't you know, definitely. A lot of different kinds of bourbons and whiskey too. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Like you say, I know you tried it too, because it's forty watts. So. I'm trying, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm trying. Yep, yep. I'll try. Uh, maybe, so, maybe next time. How did he come up with the name? Do we know that? Do anybody know that? I don't know. I, I think that Kuiper Belt was originally, uh, it might have been somebody else's, maybe. Okay. Something about this sure. out of this world type of stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah that's Kuiper Belt kind of what it means. Yeah. Where man has been in the I got yeah. you. I got you. space exploration. Mm -hmm. You can't get men to go past the Kuiper Belt because of the <laughs> radiation and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Which is why they got he the whole whole solar old, system out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whole convoluted yeah. uh, explanation of why he named the Kuiper Belt. But. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it really good too in Kentucky, too, because that open area, right? Well, yeah. probably would. Like stars and stuff. Like Facts, that. yeah. Probably, yeah. I think about that, like probably. pollution or anything like that, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, this shit trash, though. Good story. Yeah, end the story, dog. All hey. right, so look, we, we got to do it, though. This or Buchanan's? Oh, that's tough, because that shit rough. I don't like scotch though, but I I I had a Buchanan's. See, you no, know, I picked this over Buchanan's in the heart. I had a Buchanan's, bro. That shit was rough. That shit was rough. Buchanan's wasn't that nice. It had nothing nice at all. Yeah, but I'm I giving think... them. Uh, that's a, like you both say. That's a dry night. It's a dry <laughs> night. <laughs> I didn't have anything to drink that night. It's a dry so night. If, if we gotta give it, you know, I'm saying a uh, black power fish, man. How many are you gonna give it? We we'll start with you, though. I'm not gonna give it the finger, but duh, I'm you not, said the damn. finger. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just not gonna give it anything. Damn, it's no, better, this, I, this is nothing. I, this is horrible. This is bad. 
Damn, that right, it's a rough one, dog. But what'd you say? I mean, whew, after this, that. This would be our first one ever a, to have a no rating. Yeah. I, I got to give him at least a fish because it's 40 water, right? Just because I need, I, I want to support. But know? it was 110, so yeah. that's the other part of it. Yeah, yeah. the fact that it's $110 kind of definitely goes into that lower rate, you know, because yeah. it's not... It's not worth $110, yeah. you know, you know, you know, no. I mean, I, I've had some other bourbons that are, you know, around that price range and mm. a lot of them haven't lived up to their price range, but, but not this they haven't often. been bad, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? They haven't exactly. been bad, right. but this is, yeah, it's on that level. So I would give it one fist, one, one, one black power fist. Yeah, I'm going to, same here, I'm going to give it one just on the strength of E40 and the fact that it is, you know, black on. I, I'm going to give it one on that. and. Yeah, that's it. That's all, I, that's all I got to say about that. Again, if it wasn't 110, quite honestly, like if it was any, I'll even go as high as 40 or 50. If it was round in that range, then I could go back and try another bottle to see like maybe they got different barrels in this one. But at 110, I'm not spending 110 to, to try it, to guess, yeah. to see. Like, but I'm at sure. 110, you and Weller. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, right. Certain, yeah. uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones that would be extremely expensive. Yeah. That's when you're into your... Your higher level scotches, you know. Yeah, so it's like, are it. you gonna spend a hundred and ten on right. this? Yeah, exactly. You know, secondary market for us in Weller is, you know, the the red label is almost a hundred bucks. Yeah. So that's yeah. supposed to be on par with that, and no, nah, this is not. Mm-hmm. It. I didn't say that at all. All right, so uh, we got we got ones and zero. Greg, <laughs> the guest today, man. What you what you think? Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like um, off the story and off forty watt. I'm just gonna one. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> like you, when you when you bring the price into it, that's hard. That's yeah. A hard, that's a hard mistake. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. The price make it like that's it's unacceptable. Yeah. It's unacceptable. Like, damn. Oh, let level dog. Yeah, for sure. A thumbs down on that one, dog. Uh, again, shout out to Forty for uh, coming through, though. Uh, I will. I will continue to uh, support the wine line. You know what I'm saying? If you come back with another bourbon or a whiskey, then we'll check that one out. This one, though, uh, that's a no go for me. Yeah. Though. I mean, $110, that's, yeah, I that's think a hell it's a of a night point. at Bobo's, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's the price point that's killing for sure, man. Hey, that's All a hell of a night at Bobo's, boy. Oh, that note, we're going to secretly uh, make this disappear <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to move on to our next episode. I want to thank everybody for checking us out today, man. Uh, shout out to E40, man. Shout out to the Cali and West show who hyped us up and told us this shit was good and it's not. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> and Fred Minnick for the- Thinking, making me think something totally different. Exactly, no, seriously, man. On that note, we out of here, dog. Yeah. My man, angry principal, holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. Square stepping in for a second. Yes, sir. <laughs> My man, Bo, in the building. Oh, sir. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 4205, man. Peace out, y'all. Sprinkle me. <laughs> <laughs>